Hi Science Explorers! My name is Courtney and today on Discover at Home we are going to explore and learn about sinkholes. So have you ever heard of a sinkhole before? What does that even mean? A sinkhole is actually a natural depression in the ground that is caused when underground water dissolves limestone and soil which causes a depression in the ground. Now sometimes sinkholes form gradually, slowly, over a long time, or sometimes they can form very quickly depending on the situations around. They're fairly common in the United States, making up in about 25% of the United States. And why does this matter? It actually matters because humans can cause sinkholes to happen. Not all sinkholes are made by humans, but whenever we use groundwater, whenever we take it out from the ground rapidly and there's nothing left to support, we can actually cause sinkholes to happen. So, why don't you grab an adult, get their permission, and let's do an experiment together. Once you have your adult's permission, grab the following materials. You will need a foam cup, a pair of scissors, a thin sponge or a scouring pad, some sugar, some sand, a piece of paper, a clear container that's about as tall as your foam cup, or a little taller or shorter, and water. Now remember, you may be able to do this experiment on your own, but we always encourage adults to participate with you so they can learn what you learn. It's a really fun experience. To get started, we are going to take our foam cup, and in the bottom of it, we're going to poke a hole just about the size of our thumb. So you can really just take your thumb and poke a hole through. And then you can kind of tear the extra pieces so there's a little hole in this foam cup. Next, you're going to take your thin sponge and you're going to cut it to be the same size as the bottom of your cup. So I'm just going to cut off around the edge here. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, it just has to be able to fit inside of our up. Once you have a cut, you're going to stick it down inside the bottom of your cup. Next, you will take your paper and we are going to roll it into a tube. Now, whenever you roll it into a tube, you want to make sure that it's not wider than half of your cup, half of the diameter of the cup. So your paper may be smaller or bigger than mine, depending on what size your cup is. And then just for ease, you wanna cut it to be about the same size. All right, now we're gonna put our paper in the center of our cup. We're going to take our sugar and we're going to pour our sugar into the center column that we have made inside of the tube. We're going to fill it almost all the way to the top. All right. And then around it, between the edge of the cup and the tube, I'm going to pour my sand. The sugar actually represents limestone in the ground. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm, I'm going to pull the paper out gently. So there should be a center of sugar. And then I'm gonna put just a layer of sand to represent soil on top. Like that. Now grab your clear container that's about the same size as your styrofoam cup and you're going to fill it about a third with water. Now 
once that is a third full of water, you're going to take your whole styrofoam cup and you're going to place it in the water. Then we're going to watch what happens. Just like in real life, sometimes this happens very quickly and sometimes it can take up to an hour. Now, just continue to observe to see what happens with your sinkhole. Eventually, it will start to absorb water and it will cave in and form your very own sinkhole, like this one over here. We hope you enjoyed today's Discover at Home sinkhole in a cup activity and we will see you next time.